Now, I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous because I do a lot of spinning on this channel. I do a lot of knitting. I do some weaving, but I've never done projects from patterns with my own hand spun, hand woven fabric, and it's freaking me out a little bit. No, 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 no. Look what happened. No. I was just weaving away and I broke a warp thread. <gasps> I only have this much fiber left on my long shuttle i have at this point woven enough of this fabric to do my project so while i do know how to fix a broken warp and i've done it before it's kind of a pain and i'm considering just calling it done there it is my poor broken warp for now, I need to get this fabric off of the loom and I need to give it a chance to relax and all of the stretching out that it has done under tension on the loom needs to come back into shape, into the final shape it will be. If you take fabric directly off a loom and go straight to cutting it up and sewing with it, you can get some distortion in your fabric. It can stretch and, and uh, do different things. So it's always important to make sure that it's in good shape before you start projects. I did a couple extra rows with the black thread here just to sort of seal it all in there and give it a nice little edge. I'm going to have everything advance forward and take the tension off when I cut it. And the reason is because I want to save all of my warp. I don't want it to pop back through there. I know that you saw on the previous video how much work it was to dress and set up this loom. And since the warp is already set up, I don't want to go through all that again. So I will be saving my warp by tying little knots in it as I cut. It's not quite as dramatic as having everything pop open when you cut it off at the very end under tension, uh, but it is saving me time, so it's worth it. Here it is. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the back side of the fabric. Now I have to get it off the other end. Yay. Let's flip it around. Here it is. This is my fabric. So here it is, and I could not be more pleased. I think it's just absolutely stunning. It has just the coolest bubbly texture effect. It almost makes me think of bubble wrap, <laughs> but I really love the feel of this. It's gonna make a great, uh, a great bag, a great uh, shoulder bag. So I am going to, um, I think I'm gonna wash this and let it do all of its adjusting <laughs> after being under tension, it needs to do that. Then once it is all dry and set, I will start cutting pattern pieces. So my plan for this fabric is to make a bag, sort of a messenger style bag. I got a pattern from Berta Young and this is the bag I will be making today. It is from the 7223 pattern and it's bag style B. Now, I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous because I do a lot of spinning on this channel. I do a lot of knitting. I do some weaving, but I've never done projects from patterns with my own hand spun, hand woven fabric, and it's freaking me out a little bit. I'm very scared to cut my fabric. There will be a lot of basting today. I'm just gonna baste. Everything is basting. That's my plan, just baste, baste basting <laughs> lots of basting oh my goodness moving on i guess we should just get right to it and get this project put together so i suppose that means we start by cutting out the pattern i have my pieces cut out and I feel like such a rebel because you know how it shows the scissors on the line for where you're supposed to cut? Every time I came to the picture of scissors, I was going the other way. 
Okay, so <laughs> what's next? Well, I need to figure out which fabric goes with which pattern piece and then cut out the pieces of fabric. I don't really want to cut my hand spun hand woven fabric and then put the right side and the wrong side so that the beautiful fabric I made is facing the inside of my bag to get torn up and snagged on keys or whatever I throw in my purse, spindles mostly. So <laughs> that didn't make sense to me. I am going to use this duck canvas and it is a complementary color to the fabric that I wove and it's very sturdy. So I'm going to use it sort of as an interfacing and then I'm also going to use this rather than the uh, fabric that I wove. I'm going to use this canvas as the piece that goes around the bottom of the bag and I'm doing that because I don't want my beautiful fabric to be the thing that gets set on stuff. You know how bags are. Uh, so that'll kind of protect it, I think, give it some longevity and then give it some strength and also be a better fabric to have on the inside of the bag. Now, I did get this remnant uh, piece of linen and I thought that would make a really beautiful lining to go on the inside of the bag but it's it's a very drapey fabric and so I didn't feel like it would be a very good interfacing. So the way I'm going to approach this is to lay out my patterns on my fabric and then I'm going to mark where it will be cut. But before I cut, I am going to go to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna do running stitches along both sides of where I cut and that way the woven fabric is not going to fray and come apart before everything is secured. I also have some fray check here in case I completely freak out, but this is just like my safety blanket and I'm not actually planning to use it. It's just gonna be over there to make me feel better because I'm scared to cut this. I will be making my marks on the wrong side of the fabric. And one of the things that I did do that I thought was very clever with my planning, I don't know, I hope it works out. I made the width of the fabric that I wove as wide as the pattern would be to cut out. And that way I don't have to worry about all of this basting and cutting on the edges of the fabric. The, the selvage is its own sealed up edge. And so that has alleviated a little bit of my fear, but I do have to still cut across the top. Um, and I will have to cut uh, around the bottom. This fringe is just the warp from where I cut it off the loom. I'm sort of thinking that I should be doing these running stitch lines with a different thread, but I already had it set up for sewing my seams and I was using black thread. So it's impossible to see where I just sewed it. And, um, but it is sewed. If I, if I squint and look really close, I can see it. I think it'll be okay. But just an FYI for next time, use a different color thread when I'm just doing these stitches to seal in the warp and weft. We're getting through, we're getting there. I'm stabilized both sides of where I'm going to cut with those stitches running through and uh <laughs> I did it, I did it, okay. That little running stitch I put through there is holding, none of these are fraying past that line where I sewed it. So this will work. This will keep everything together. Just remember what I learned in kindergarten. Stay inside the lines. Everything will be fine. I might pull all this out of the scrap and uh, shred it and use it in some textured art bats. I think that could be really cool. Nothing is going to waste, nothing at all. So this is one end of the pattern cut. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. 
and I still have a really good piece of fabric here to use for another project. After this is done and I know that I don't have an emergency or need any more of it, I think I'm going to use that to make a little pillow. I think that'd be cute. So that's the plan for that. I need to cut the rest of the pieces out from the duck canvas and possibly also from the linen. And then it'll just be a matter of sewing the whole thing together. The worst is over. I did it. I cut my fabric. Oh. So exciting. Okay, this is how it looks on the seam and it's really looking good and fuzzy. This is the piece that goes in between and then I have the front and the back and all of that is gonna get seamed together and then the flap and I'll close up the top. And then I have more pieces of this fabric which will make a strap that goes over the top but this it'll be double width. So it's coming together and I think it's gonna be a little bit bigger than I thought which is completely fine with me because that just means I can fit more yarn fiber and spindles. So even full-size knitting needles. Uh, this is the part when I flip it to the right side out and see if I sewed all my lines straight and if all the right sides are right sided. <laughs> I've done that before where you flip everything the way it's supposed to go and you're like, oh, that's the back of the fabric. Oops. I know I haven't, I haven't trimmed the edges yet. I just, I just want to see if, if it's good. Voila. Hey, it's looking like a bag. Ta-da! It's actually a bag. Look, I'm making a thing. Ah, how cool is this? Okay, so I have some of the weaving coming apart at the top, but I'm not panicked about that because I put those seams in it to make everything stay and of course this is the unfinished edge but i'm going to trim these pieces off right now because they're kind of annoying me i think i am going to do a lining and i'm going to use this black linen that i have behind me two things here one i do have some raw edges on the inside because it's the edge of this hand woven fabric it's very lumpy and bumpy in there where this is kind of hanging out in the seams i feel like it could catch on stuff the other reason that aligning is good is because when you put the lining on the top and you throw stuff in the bag, it doesn't put wear and tear and pressure on these seams here. It puts the pressure on the lining seam, which actually preserves the, the thing longer because if the lining wears out, you just pull that and replace it. If this wears out, then you're basically reconstructing it or it's just done for. So my son made me tea though. It was really sweet. And he came and he brought it to me because he was in the kitchen having snacks and stuff. And um, he brought me the tea. <laughs> he was like, mom, here's your leaf water. <laughs> I think he made it for me just because he wanted to say, here's your leaf water. I know where he got that sense of humor from. All right, back to work. It's done. It's finished. Here is my bag it <laughs> has so many mistakes in it oh my goodness so the first thing and I know it, it's beautiful it's wonderful it's usable there's nothing wrong with it but I just wanted to share a few of the things that happened along the way so I realized that the back piece was supposed to be cut on the fold of the fabric so that it included the flap that comes over this is supposed to be one piece and I wasn't paying attention and I just cut right along. 
which meant that I actually had to cut my hand spun fabric more than I needed to. And then I had to do the whole business of putting in this extra seam and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I don't think that's a thing that anybody would notice or look at or worry about, except for me. <laughs> um, and then what else is anything? So I do have this because I had to sew that flap on there. I have that little bit there, but that's, again, that's not a big deal. Um, the, the seams here, I, I did, I, I did them upside down, not upside down. I did them right side out. So there's a raw edge right there, which if it really bugs me, I can take it off, flip it around and fix that. Um, I did, it, it doesn't bug me. <laughs> I did do a lining. Uh, this linen lining is in there and I, I like it. I'm glad I did the lining. It makes it feel finished. You know, it makes it uh, just feel a little more secure and all of that. Um, so, and then the strap is good and sturdy. I have no worries that anything is going to rip or fall apart. There's my bag. There's my bag. Yeah, so I thought this was actually gonna be too short, but once I did all my seam allowances around the top, it ended up being exactly right. So yay pattern. Um, and that is my hand spun, hand woven fabric in my new bag, my new purse. I can put so much yarn in this bag. I can put so many spindles in this bag. I will never have an excuse to not have a project. And I'm also really excited because it's big enough that it will fit my iPad. Did it, now that I have cut my own hand woven, hand spun fabric, like I feel like I could take on the world. I'm ready to try steaking. Let me know what you think of this project. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this whole video. And it's time to go get the mail dark while I was working. Let's go get the mail.